Browser, browser world. Today, uh, I'm gonna get you guys to go ahead and get out your uh, black Crayola as always. And I'm also going to get a gray here. And then what we're going to attempt to do is we're going to attempt to draw this entire picture without making a mistake with a Crayola marker. Okay. So uh, what I did here, I actually have two pictures of them on my screen, but I think I can get a pretty good likeness based off of just what I see here. So let's go ahead here and we'll start with our middle uh, individual and then we're going to kind of work our way outwards. Okay. So uh, remember guys, when you draw in caricature, the first thing that you want to do is you want to look at a basic head shape. From the head shape, you wanna work, uh, basically put your playground and then you're gonna be working in from there. Okay, so let me show you what I mean, brief demonstration. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we got a good marker. Oh, pretty good right there. Don't do that at home, that's not part of the exercise. <laughs> All right, what's going on? What's going on? All right, so let's go ahead and get this first guy done here. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to draw the ear here. And then we're going to kind of Okay, so what I did here is I kind of drew the jawline. This is going to be like my dominant side of the face here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and draw his hairline here. So to get that hairline here, we know that we got to do this because this just makes common sense. Okay. And then we're going to come over here. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll do the top part of the head which is kind of like it kind of looks like it does like this here okay and then we're gonna go over here and we'll do all of the braids and stuff in the end but we just want to get the general head shape down okay now uh <laughs> oh okay right on right on all right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to straighten my paper up here, and I'm going to start drawing the neck here. So I'm going to go kind of like this, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with the inner features, okay? Now, remember, uh, I don't know if you guys saw this. Let me get a, a sip of my coffee here. We're going to take it nice and slow because we're not in a rush. Generally, I can do the picture really quick, but I want you to kind of see what I'm doing. All right, so now we're gonna start from the eyebrows and work our way down. In a in a classic, in anybody's face, don't care who you're drawing, all of your shapes or all of your features are gonna go beneath the ears, okay? Other than the eyebrow. So let me show you what I mean when I say that. So if you got your eyebrow here, right? Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw my dominant line here. Dominant line meaning because my face is facing this way, my lines are gonna go this way for the eye. So like this and like this. You understand what I mean? And now I'm gonna build my eye off of that dominant line like so. <laughs> right on, right on, Bernard, super awesome, man. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the eyes here. Like he's looking at you, right? And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the bottom part of the eye, okay? You see how that looks just like that? Like he's looking at the screen. Now we'll just go ahead and put the separator over the eye, like that. And then we're gonna work our way down to the next logical piece of the face, which is gonna do, uh, do you say draw? Oh yes, well what happens is, is uh. The drawing requests are going to be done pretty much by uh, by points. So basically how, how it works is the more that you engage the stream, the more time you put in. I, st I used to do them on YouTube like that, but it got to a point where I couldn't keep up with the amount of requests that was coming in. So I had to do it in a more uh, regimented, regi 
regimented fashion. So now what happens is is that I keep track of who's he, who's watching and who's not and who's participating. And then what I'll do is based off of that, you'll be able to make requests to be to get someone drawn or to ask a question. And also feel free to ask a question if you want to. If I can answer that on the screen for you, I will do that for you. But uh, let me see. Oh, messy. I remember that drawing. That was a long time ago. <laughs> All right, now let's go ahead and do the uh, the nose here, okay, guys? So for the nose, what I'm gonna do? Is I'm gonna draw the ball of the nose first, okay? And then I'm gonna put the separator here, okay? And now we'll go ahead and we're gonna put the lips. And then we'll put the top lip here and the bottom lip here. Okay, just like that, guys. Let me just put a little bit of dark here in the mouth. All right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put his mustache here. I like to put my face here because I use those kind of as markers to show me where everything is going to go. I can, so I can count this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it takes time to be able to um, come up with the, uh, with your own style. I mean, believe it or not, and uh, one day I'm going to actually put some, some of my older drawings up there so you'll be able to see what I'm talking about is that at one time I couldn't draw, I didn't have my own perception of a person as a cartoon. I copied other people first and then eventually I saw what they were doing. You have to realize that drawing a caricature is a, is a lot different from drawing a real live picture of somebody. Um, number one, because, hold on a minute. Let me go ahead and get this part right here. I want to make that line too thick. I got to really pay attention on this part here. I like to make the, I want to make this line kind of. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece here. Yeah. And then we'll go ahead and do this right here. Okay, then when we come back, we're gonna shade it. We're gonna do all the braids and stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll get that part done. What I want to do real quick is I want to get my line work down. So we pretty much uh, got our first subject down to a science here. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to proceed to the next person. Okay. I don't know what kind of uh, tattoo this is he got here. But I know he got something. Looks like it's over the top of his eye. And then he got like a hundred or something right here. And we got a hundred on a test or something, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. Now what we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna go to the next individual here. Oh, I didn't even I didn't know that. Tim Duncan is becoming the well, he probably needs to because Excuse me, down. I'm gonna go to this guy over here because he's uh, they need some. Uh, last year they lost in the finals. I mean, lost in the. I think they didn't. They go to the conference finals and they lost. Or what, who went to the conference finals? Wasn't it the Spurs and some and um. Well, yeah, it was Spurs and Golden State, but they got skint up hmm, badly. Okay, so now guys, let's go ahead and go to. The next person, which is going to be this gentleman on this side. So I, I'm going to blow him up just a little bit, see if we can get him to the center screen for you. Can you? I guess you guys can see him pretty well. Now, he has some gold in his mouth, and part of his head is, is, is kind of turned off, but we'll go ahead and try to work with what we got. So I'm going to go ahead and put...
the bottom shape here. Let me see how I want to do this here. There we go. Now we go ahead and put the put the ears here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the ear ring there, just like that. Okay. And I'm gonna try to pull back every time I make a line so you can see what I'm doing. And uh, now I had a question the other day on my uh, on my uh, YouTube channel about how do I know what line to make thicker or thinner or what have you. Um, what I, as a general rule, <laughs> uh, oh man, you, oh really? I got pranked, got you Carter. <laughs> All right, uh, as a general rule, wherever I, what I, whatever I want to emphasize, I'm gonna use a heavier line. Whatever I don't want to emphasize, I'm gonna use a smaller line. I'm gonna also use, and I'll, I'll do some demonstrations. For instance, um, let's look at the forehead of this guy here, okay? Now, I want to make it look like his head is round up here. Well, to make his head look round, you have to think of like a circle, right? So to draw that hairline, it's easy to think that it goes straight, but it can't, you can't achieve what you want if you do a straight line here. So what you're gonna have to do is you gotta do a curved line like a circle, you see? But you don't want to make it as dominant as the face line because it's kind of back. And then from here, what we'll do is we want to continue to make it look like a circle. So we we start feeding the circle off the line. So you see how I left this line here, real like curved, like the, like a circle. But then I overshot it a little bit, and then I brought the circle around to, and it connected it from the bottom. I'm not really concerned about his sideburns any of that because. That's not what's important. The important part is the circular part of his head. Now, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing, put like the braids or whatever, okay? It doesn't really matter. You don't have to get them exactly like it is in the picture, but you wanna stay consistent with the circle that you just drew, okay? So I'm just going consistently with that, okay? Now here, I'll just draw that, okay? Okay, and then we'll just feed our braids kind of backwards from there. And we'll fill them in with our other marker once we start uh, <laughs> Can Canadian? Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> okay, now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and let me just bring my paper this way just a little bit. I'm just gonna turn it a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna start and I'm gonna work with the features of the face, okay? Now, if you look at his face, what's the first thing that kind of stands out to you? Well, if you really look at it, it's kind of the darks. If you look at the eyebrows, look at the color of his eyeballs, you look at the mustache, you look at the beard, you can use these things as markers, you know what I'm saying, to, to help you put the face together. So for instance, let me go ahead and show you the only thing that goes over the eye, over the uh, top of the ear would be your eyebrow, okay? Now, you can notice his eyebrows have an upturn to it. So, it looks like it's kind of doing like this. See what I'm saying? They look like they're doing like this. So, now, from here, I can go ahead and I can put his eyes because his, the eyes are going to go underneath or kind of even with the top of the ear here. Now because his his face is he's facing forward, he doesn't have a dominant line. If you look back, if you were here when I was drawing this guy, I drew his the dominant line pointing to one side or because his face is pointing that way. But now because his face is straight, everything's going to be kind of the same here. So I'll just do this, put the top part over the eye right here. Okay, and then I'm going to draw the rest of the eye using a lighter line. You see how I use the line not as 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 superimposed as that top line? Because I want this part of the eye to be more emphasized in the bottom part. So everything you draw, guys, when you're drawing a caricature, you have to decide. You have to be making decisions while you're drawing your picture. You got you to gotta, uh, know where you want to put your emphasis at. Okay. So 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put the nose here, just like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the mouth here, okay? So I'll start with the middle part of the mouth here, right? And then I'm gonna look where my points are, here and here. Here, 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 here. In here, then I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the teeth here using the lighter line. See how we did that? Okay, now we'll just go ahead and put his mustache. And then the beard here. I'm just gonna make this a little bit darker. And like I said, when we get to the end, we'll go ahead and do our, our fill-in work and all that stuff. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. How do I have my cam set up? Uh, <laughs> yeah, see those eyebrows, you can't you can't think of them. Like when you first of all, uh, Bernard, you can't do your when you look at your eyebrows, you got to see them. You got to see it for the expression it's making. So you can't try to draw. Don't approach it like a regular portrait. Approach it with use your instinct and your intuition. When you do when you um, are surprised, well, what do your eyebrows do? If you look kind of, you know, sometimes my eyebrow does like this. If I'm got the big eye on you. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes you, you have to use that that intuition to see, you know, to know how things play out. Let's go ahead and make those eyebrows darker, and you're going to see that's going to really make the that stand out. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick. Okay. Now from there, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put the glasses here. Okay, and now let me go ahead and just, hold on, let me straighten my paper and keep everything straight here. My cam is set up, guys, where it's, uh, uh, I got one cam facing down toward my hand, and I got one cam that's pointing at my face. So I got, like, two cams here. My other cam is kind of, like, above, so you can see right there. Okay. All right. So now you know, he has like some braids or whatever back here. But we'll put all that stuff in the end. We really don't need to go into that too much. All right. So now that we got that part done, let's go and do this part real darker again here. Okay, cool. Now. What we're going to do next is we're going to work over here. So we're going to go to this other guy. Get that shit back up. Now we're going to go to this guy. Now, let's blow it up again and try to bring our picture over. So this guy here, if you look at his eyes, right? Remember what I was telling you about drawing from instinct, okay? His eyes look very sleepy to me. You know, like he's like, uh, I'm sleepy. You know what I mean? Almost like, you know, he just has a that kind of eye. And some people have those kind of eyes. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do some sleepy eyes today. And it doesn't matter. All, when you see somebody with sleepy eyes, it's the same concept, same technique every time. It's not that they're, it's, it's the way that they're shaped. Is that the, the way that they're made? Is that what you want to really kind of focus on? Okay, so... Let me turn my paper here and get, get ready to see what the angle of his face is. So, his face is pretty round to me, okay? Yes, exactly. I, 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 I emphasize the expression intentionally. In other words, 
I'm just gonna grab a piece of paper real quick. Okay, and put it over this and then we'll go back. Okay, look at it like this. I automatically do this. If the guy is, if he's a surprised, I'm, his eyebrows are gonna go up. You know what I'm saying? His eye, your eyes are gonna naturally open wider when you, when you're surprised. You see what I'm saying? So now all I do is I build my eye, kind of around that. You know. So let's just say this guy's surprised. He's looking over here. If I don't draw nothing else, and I just got this in a box, you automatically think, "Wow, that guy over there, what, he's something just happened right there." Okay. <laughs> you see what I mean? So. Let me go ahead and uh, put that aside. We're going to go ahead and get back into this. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to first make the observation that he has a kind of a round face, okay? <laughs> All right. Hey, what's going on, Mr. Crafton? How are you today? Good to have you. All right. So let's go ahead and go with our round. Our round this here. You see, when I said round... I intentionally went round. You see what I mean? Intentionally went round. Now, we already know that this is where I like to call it the cup. You know why? Because, let me put this over here. A cup kind of does like this, right? You ever seen a wine glass? Okay. Well, that's what I think of this as. How do I want my wine glass to be shaped in the bottom so that I can put all of the eyes and the nose and the ears you know how do i want to do it because i can put ears here right put the eyebrows on the outside of the wine glass and everything else goes inside the wine glass you see how that works okay so let's go ahead and uh, put the ears on the top of the wine glass okay so here we go remember he has small ears that's my observation about him so i just draw small ears now, what I'm gonna do, look at the top of his face. Remember we said it's round. So when we draw a round forehead, we wanna stay with the same concept. When you say it in your mind, draw it on the paper. Round forehead, hairline is kinda of back, but it's kinda of short compared to this part of the head. So we are gonna draw from one end of the circle to the other, and you just kinda of gotta gauge it. That roundness, you see? So now once we do it, we overshoot it, like I overshot this one over here, and then I bring it back in. You see what I'm saying? Now, when we put the top part or the hair, you see what I'm saying? I'm just putting it together like pieces of puzzle complicated <laughs> all right now the top is kind of cut off so we don't really know exactly how he got it but we're just gonna use intuition here once again drawing is a little bit about intuition a lot about intuition you got to go with what you feel like is going on but if you sit there and you try to over analyze the drawing you ain't gonna get it right okay all right so um, what I'm gonna do now, or oh, you can't really see his hairline. Let me let me downsize it. Can you can you see it a little bit better now? And I'll try to. I, this picture here is kind of. Let me move it over. But you can see if you look at his hairline, it looks kind of round there. Round. His face is round. That means his hairline got to be round. You know. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to the eyebrows. Now to draw these eyebrows. Well, what's your what's your first interpretation when you look at those eyebrows? What do you see? Well, I see eyebrows that are very separated and prominent, okay? So, let's do it like this. You see, very separated and very prominent, just like so, okay? So now that we got the separation and the prominence, we're going to go ahead and draw the eyes. Now we're talking about sleepy eyes. Uh, generally what happens with, with people that have sleepy eyes, okay, it's because, let me uh, go over here and do a demonstration for you. Okay, your eyes, how your eyes work is this, okay? You have a ball like this covered by skin. 
that's uh, your eyeball is in your head and then you have skin on top of it right and you have to understand that now what happens with a person that has sleepy eyes is that a lot of the ball is basically being covered by skin and it's and it's around so what's happening is this he's using this much i'm just cutting it out like an orange think about it like an orange think about it like an orange you see do it again one more time okay most of the skin is on the bottom of the orange or the, you cut out a part on the bottom of the orange like this so now your separator goes here you understand what I mean? So these will be your eyeballs. You understand? You see how his eyes look kind of sleepy? These eyes look kind of sleepy when you do it that way. So one more time. If you have your, I'm just going to flip it over here. Okay. You got two eyeballs. You got two balls in your head. You want to draw somebody with sleepy eyes? You just cut out a piece of the orange at the very bottom. Okay. Just like that. And then you put, eye, then you put your eyeball in there. This part up here is where this the thing that goes over your eye that would do this goes. You see what I mean? You see how it looks? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to implement that same theory. Only thing is I'm not going to draw no circles on the paper. I got to think that the circle is there and then I got to draw on top of it. So I got to use a little mental power there, a little mental, mental energy. Okay, so... I'm gonna draw this. I'm cutting out the part on the bottom of this of the of the orange right now. Okay. Then I'm gonna draw on top of the circle, right? I'm gonna outline where the top of my circle is. So this is the inside of the orange, which is here, right? Now I'm gonna draw this part, the top of the circle. Because remember, this part is big, and then you're gonna have. the bottom part here you see how how I did that right there okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the separator in between the nose here And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the mouth. And then we'll put some hair right here. And a mustache here. And there you have it. Now all we gotta do here is just put the glasses. And then we'll outline the bottom part of the ball, which would be probably about right here. You see how that works? So now he look he got that sleepy look in his eyes. Somebody give him a pillow, right? <laughs> All right. So uh, now we're going to go to the next portion of our artwork here. So let me just darken in these eyebrows real quick. Okay. And this is going to be the part where I like to call it the 3D phase. So before I do that, let me back the picture out a little bit. Yes, I'll, usually I'm always going to draw the eyes after I do, uh, I complete the picture. So let me do this real quick. Let me give them, because these guys are notorious for wearing, they like to wear like a lot of jewelry. So I, I saw that when I looked in their pictures. So I'm just going to go ahead and put something here. Since we're doing this, I'm just going to go ahead and do it all out. Because I like to put it, I like to put my drawings, I got like a museum kind of where I keep all my drones at, like a vault. Can't get in it. You got to be able to sing to get in the vault. <laughs> it's like Richie Bitch. All right. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay. Then we'll even put some more jewelry because they, you know, they have, they be having a lot of jewelry. 
you know. And then I just go ahead and put the shoulders right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just putting the bottom piece here. Let me see. All right, now I'm gonna go over here and just give him his uh, his jewelry right here. So he got a different kind of jewelry going on, but we'll just go ahead and put some here. It really don't matter what it looks. This this part of it looks like. You just want to make something that looks like some jewelry, you know? Just kind of something that looks kind of blingy. Okay, and so here look like he got on like a like something to do like this here, like his jacket. Okay. And then I can just bring it out from around here. Cool. And when we finish, we're gonna make all that like kind of look real tight. So just bear with me for a second here. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over here And I'm gonna give him some jewelry too. Jewelry. Some bling bling. All right, I'm almost there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just put this part here. Okay, and then we'll just put his shoulders kind of down here. All right. So now we pretty much got the drawing, the, the gist of the drawing. <laughs> so we got the gist of the drawing down here. Now what I'm going to do here is we're going to start doing some shading, okay? Now, uh, for the shading part, uh, I use a gray uh, Crayola. A marker let me um make sure I got one that's got a lot of juice in it because we're gonna need it <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and we'll start shading the middle person so what I'll do is I'll just pick a which way I want my light source to come from okay so to make it easier I'm gonna make all the light come from this side of the paper uh, from the uh, from the right side and then um, so we're gonna have our shadows basically coming from the left okay uh, let's go ahead and uh, do that real quick. So let's say this is the shadow. I'll put some shadow here on this side. Okay, and because he has a plane in his face, remember everything has sides to it. So that's what I'm emphasizing when I do this. You see how that works? And then we'll put some shade here underneath the chin. And some shade here. Okay. Now we're gonna put some shade here. Okay, some shade here. Underneath the nose. Just a little bit underneath the nose, just to round, round it off a little bit. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and hit the top lip here. Okay. All right, now what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna go ahead and do the glasses on this guy, okay? Hold on one sec here, let me, I think I got one with a little bit more burn in it. Little turn and burn. Yeah, I want to make sure it's got enough. Hold on one second there, guys. I think I got it. Ah, yes, awesome. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to shade it in the eyes. So we'll do like this we'll come here to the top of the eye.
see how I brought it down and I'm gonna make it I'm gonna feather it in a little bit and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it just dry just a little bit okay and while that's drying let me put this here and then I'm gonna go back with my black and darken the eyebrows in just a little bit more okay come back here should be dry enough for me to put my second layer so I'm gonna do like this here and make it a little bit darker here see how it looks like it's faded that is fading down now like the shades that's how you want to get it in there okay <laughs> okay right on right on Bernard Shuford man thank you for tuning in today you have a blessed day okay so now let's go ahead here and go to our next subject so we really don't want to stay too much longer on this guy just doing this forehead sweeping forehead lines okay All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the next guy. So I guess we could just go here. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, go to this this guy here. On the end. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna shade here. Okay, and here. But remember our, where our light's coming from, so we're going to go here. Just like that. Okay. Shade this part here in. Okay. And the shade underneath the nose here. And a little bit more shade on this side because remember all my light where it's coming from okay now let's go ahead and just outline that top lip okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna shade the, the, the jewelry in his mouth in just a little bit <laughs> <laughs> Try doing challenges. Do you color? <laughs> no. Uh, what I do, I do some of my drawings just in color when I'm live, and then the ones that I don't do in color, I just don't do. But I don't usually alter them after I get them, after I'm finished. No, I just go ahead and leave them like they are. I'm almost there, guys. Let me. Okay, so you got it right there. And then when we come back, we're going to put some darks in there to make it uh, stand out a little bit more. All right, so let me go ahead and get my black marker again. Darken the eyebrows in just a bit here. Okay. Just like so. Okay. Darken in my eyeballs just a little bit here. All right. And now, I think we got pretty much most of the shade for this guy. So I don't see anywhere else I can do any more shading. I don't want to overkill it. Okay, and now we're gonna go over here. We're gonna shade this guy. Then when we finish that, the final part will be to do all the darks, and that's the darks are gonna what's gonna make the picture really come to life. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and um, go over here to this guy here. Of course, I want to just go ahead and darken the eyebrows in first. I just do that part while I'm here. Okay, 
I'm gonna go ahead and do my shade, which is coming from this side of my picture. Just like so. Okay, then I'm gonna put my shade here over the eye to bring the bulbature, the bulbalness of the eye out a little bit more. Okay. Just like so. I'm gonna go ahead and put the top lip here. Okay, I think we just about got them down to a science here. Okay. All right, now guys, the last part of our drawing that we're gonna go ahead and just get that out of the way. Let me put these two markers here this way they don't get mixed in is I'm gonna go ahead and do the darks or the hair, okay? So for the hair, what I usually use is a, uh, a big marker. It doesn't matter uh, what brand that you decide to use. Sometimes I'll use uh, art skills, sometimes I'll use, I just kinda use whatever I have handy here. So it looks like I got a big marker here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the middle guy here. So let's go back to him. Let's downsize the picture. And then we're gonna start adding the darks in. So watch, watch this. Well, I will in just a minute, but what I wanna do is this. Okay, so what I'm doing here, I'm just, I'm, I'm making it look like, you know, like braids. like so okay dark in this point right here And then we'll darken this part here. Okay. And there you have it. So that's uh, darkening number one. <laughs> and then shading next to the hairline, I'll do that right here usually, but not too much. Just like that. Okay, so now guys, let's go ahead and we'll go with our next uh, guy here. So we'll go with this guy here. We'll go ahead and darken in his hair.
Okay. Now I'm going to go over here and do this one over here. Almost there, guys. And then real quick, since we're already over here, let's go ahead and darken the eyebrows a little bit. You can see the difference in the pigmentation of these markers versus the Crayola. Uh, that's the only downside, I guess, to using a Crayola is because you don't have a, um, these, the pigment is a lot darker here. So you just, that's just something that you kind of have to live with there. All right. So what I'm going to do here now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just shade this part here because it'll give it a little bit more of a contrast uh, and then we'll go ahead and do the last one here in a minute I'm just doing a little bit of darkness here okay now what I'm going to do real quick I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to the last guy so I'm just going to move my drawing over here just for a second All right, now all we have to do is pretty much the same thing here. Yeah, when you when I draw with these big markers, this is about making effects to me, you know, something that kind of looks like what's going on. It don't really have to be, you know, it's just the idea of it. You sit there and try to draw every individual braid and hair strand, you'll be here for a long time trying to draw it. So let me go ahead here. I'm almost there, guys. So I'm just going to do this part here. Okay, and then it looks like he got some dark right here. So you can just do that. Let me just make this a little bit lighter here. Awesome. Okay, and then let's just go ahead and make this dark here. Okay, and then I'm gonna make this dark here. Cute. Okay, so last but not least, uh, what I like to do at the end of my drawings is take my my, uh, my darks and go ahead and really get them in there. So I'm just gonna uh, focus on the eyes. I like, uh, that's just my particular style. I like for my eyes to really, really be uh, recognizable as that person's eyes. So I don't, uh, I spare no expense when I start do when I start doing the eye part. Okay. Okay, so over here we'll do the same thing. We're just gonna go to this guy here in the middle. And we're gonna make sure that's real dark right there. We wanna be able to see them real nice through the glasses there. You want them to really stand out no matter what. Okay, put some dark right here maybe. And just anywhere I feel like I can put a little bit more dark to make it stand out more. Okay, and then uh, let me see here. Let me downsize them just a little bit. Okay, it looks like he got some black on here. So let me go ahead and get a big marker out here.
Just about there, guys. All right. Oh, the middle banner. Oh, 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 so we can see the reference better. I don't, I don't know. I have to, um, I don't think I can take it out. I have to see because my wife actually set it up. So, um, what I'll do is on my next stream, let me see. Because that's, I think that's, oh, let me see. I think I'm just going to leave it about right there. This way you can see it just a little bit better. But uh, on my next stream, I'll try to make it where she can, where she'll uh, make the, the, the reference picture bigger. I'm not sure if I can do that from here or what. Let me see something. Let me see. Let me see something. Is that a little? Is that a little bit better? There we go. Is that a little bit better? Okay, I tried to make it a little bit bigger here on the screen. Did it, did it, did it, um, when I just made that bigger, could you see, is it bigger? Okay, cool, cool. Next time I'll try to figure out how we can, how we can configure, uh, the sizes or whatever to make it a little bit more, uh, yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, cool. So I won't, I won't zoom in. Uh, too much more there. Okay, so let me see where were we here. All right, uh, finishing up the the darks here. Okay, and now we're gonna do the darks on the eyes on the very last person on the end. So I'm just gonna zoom in just a little bit because I gotta zoom in here. See this guy here on the end with the with his yeah this one right here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the dark here. In here. And then we're going darker than the eyes. Okay. All right. So now it looks like we got our drawing down to a science here, guys. I don't really see much more that I can do here. So we're going to start closing out. Okay. Okay. So guys, we have our drawing down to a science. That's pretty much what we came up with here. <laughs> Do a few more braids here maybe. And all I got to do here is just basically put their names, okay? So the name of this group is called Migos. It's a, uh, I don't know what kind of music that they do, but I looked them up and they look like a, I don't know. They look like, I don't know if they rap or what they do, but they're a group anyway. <laughs> all right. All right. So we're gonna put the name in a group. I guess we can put it like maybe about right here since it'll be centered. So I'm just gonna put Migos. Okay.
And then we'll just go ahead and close it out, guys. So uh, that's our drawing, our first drawing of the day. This one took a little bit longer because obviously there's more subjects involved in the picture. Um, <laughs> so let's go ahead and just downsize real quick so you guys can see the whole picture. Uh, that's what I came up with. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and just sign my name right here. And then today is, uh, I want to say today is the 26th. All right. So let's go ahead and go to our next drawing, guys. One more thing here. All right, so let's put them aside over here. Migos. Let you guys see it up close here. This is my subject number one here with his braids. And subject number two here. And then the gentleman on the end right there. <laughs>